Hello everybody, welcome to planetoftheapp.com. This is our first tutorial on how to use your iPad. You just got one from uh, Santa, and uh, so let's take a look at how we're going to get to use it now. It's a very powerful tool. I use it daily. In fact, this is why I created my new website, planetoftheapp.com. Uh, and those of you who came over from filmmakingcentral.com, I really appreciate your support. Uh, the iPad and the iPhone are extremely useful in my filmmaking process and my day-to-day -day life. So many of you out there have asked me what apps do I use, etc. And we're going to do reviews and tutorials here on this new site. Um, but let's get started. So you just got your first uh, iPad and we're going to have to look into some settings here to make sure you have everything up to speed. Uh, so if you've gotten to this stage, you've already connected uh, most of your uh, settings and uh, but let's look at some things that you may have overlooked so I'll click on settings here and we'll just briefly go down the list um, if you have a Wi-Fi of course all of them have Wi-Fi uh, you're gonna need to choose which Wi-Fi network you're on and then uh, for example if I just uh, choose a different one I'll just choose other and I can type in the name of my network and then my security um, is it gonna be a password etc so we can do all that. Uh, if I had, uh, let's say if this was mine, I would just have to type in the password and I'm good to go. And then up in the left hand corner, you'll see next to iPad, the uh, Wi-Fi uh, sign there and it tells you if you're connected or not. Um, you can also turn Wi-Fi off for some reason you might need to. I don't know why, but I don't do that. If you're traveling, you can always uh, go in there and uh, choose the airplane mode up here and turn off, uh, turn it on, I'm sorry. So you see the little airplane, that means you're not getting any transmissions and they won't uh, be mad at you and kick you off the plane like Alec Baldwin. So let's leave that back on. So we're connected. Uh, next down here is notifications. If you want to be notified uh, by any of your programs, maybe you have messages, um, reminders is a really great uh, thing that I like. So it lets me know uh, what... Um, any, any messages or notifications that I had set myself to remind myself about, uh, you can set that all up here. So I put that on there as on, and uh, it's good to go. Location services is next, and this just wants to know if, uh, uh, if you use Wi-Fi, we have Wi-Fi and we're in a hotspot somewhere, uh, and let's say I go on, um, oh, let's pick something here, maybe Google Plus, or actually Hipstamatic, which is a great uh, app for uh, shooting photos and we'll just take a look at that later but Hipstamatic I can just turn that on and when I use Hipstamatic it'll it'll embed in its uh, metadata where I was so where I was um, if I was in Pasadena California it'll actually say that I was in Pasadena California on the uh, photo so it's pretty cool uh, wall brightness and wallpaper I have auto brightness on but you can certainly turn it off and then just have it as bright as it can be all the time if that's what you want. Uh, below that is the wallpaper and uh, so you can change that and just by clicking this little arrow here uh, I can change it to the standard wallpaper that comes with um, the iPad. I can also go into the photo stream and choose a photo and that's simple to do and I'll just uh, find something here of my son and there it is and then I can set this as both uh, or I can set it as lock uh, my lock screen uh, my, my home screen or both so if I just click on that it'll set it to both I'm gonna leave that blank for now because it's a little distracting when I am um, trying to do tutorials picture frame you can create a picture frame uh, choose an album and uh, create a picture frame and we'll do that a little bit later but this is where you go into all of the uh, settings for that uh, so you can actually have the iPad as a digital frame and just have it I would recommend having it plugged in and just uh, leave it on the a little stand and you have a nice little digital uh, picture frame general settings so in general settings uh, one thing I like to go into is my usage area it tells me uh, how much storage I have on my iPad still and it also lets me know uh, what my biggest apps are. So if I'm not really using real racing 2 HD, uh, which is my son's game, that's taking up 1.2 gigabytes of space and I might not want that. So 
uh, I can go in and get that out of, uh, out of my area, uh, my iPad, and, and free up uh, uh, 1.2 gigabytes of space. So one thing you should keep in mind when you're downloading apps, um, they're so easy to do, some of them are rather large and you might want to um, uh, think twice depending on how much space you have on your iPad. Uh, next is the, let's go back to general, uh, sounds, if you want different sounds, uh, you can change that all here, your text tone, your emails, tweets, all of that can be changed in this area here, or if you don't want any sounds, you can do that as well. New is the iCloud, which is fantastic, and so here's all the information for that. If you want your iPad to sync with your iCloud, so I think it's tremendous if I do something on my Mac, uh, or my MacBook Pro, or my iPhone, I want that all to talk to my iPad so that I can go in there and have the same information as I do now, later. Um, so you just, I turn all those on. Uh, you have to have an iPad account, of course, uh, but it's free for five gigabytes. And uh, you can just do that at uh, iCloud.com. And uh, down here is the photo stream. All of that stuff's being synced up to my iPad, and I love it. One thing I highly recommend is doing Find My iPad at the very bottom um, so that if you lose it or someone takes it, you can definitely uh, get that iPad back. And then down below is the storage and backup. If I click on that, it tells me I've got 5 gigabytes of space, and I've already used 2.5. And of course, you can buy more storage. Uh, let's go back to general for a second, um, and let's scroll down here, let's see, uh, we have our network, Bluetooth, I like to have Bluetooth on, if I want to use a Bluetooth um, uh, keypad, it's a great thing to use. Uh, iTunes Wi-Fi sync, so if you want to buy, um, if you buy music on iTunes, you can have it sync, uh, you know, not just music, but movies, podcasts, all that stuff. I tend to leave that off, because if I download movies or things like that, um, syncing to my iPad might take some time and a lot of space, so I don't, I'll just do that manually in iTunes later. So let's go back. Uh, spotlight Search, so let's just uh, leave that alone. Uh, auto Lock and Passcode Lock, I like to do that because, if, uh, I, especially as me as a teacher, uh, if I leave my iPad in my room and my students get a hold of it, I don't need them to go in there and, and fool around with my, all my stuff. So uh, if you choose Passcode Lock, you can choose a passcode that you want uh, for numbers, or I use letters as well because you see the below the numbers, like a, like a regular keypad. Um, so you pick your passcode and you'll do it twice and then you'll have a passcode. And then when you try and uh, someone tries to get on your iPad, they have to have the passcode or it locks it, which is great too, which goes back to find my iPad. So now if you have it locked and people are trying to get it, you can actually, um, you know, look for your iPad, it'll tell you where it is exactly. I mean, it'll tell you within the street and, and all that. It'll get very precise. Um, and then that way the people trying to get into it can't get into it and you're, they're wasting time trying to do that. You can actually send messages over Find My iPad and I'll actually show that to you later. And uh, that'll, you know, that way people can say, oh my God, they know I have their iPad and maybe I should give it back. Um, so definitely do a lock, I recommend that. You can do restrictions here as well if you want to restrict certain things. Um, you don't want people to have access to certain things. You can do that. I, since it's mine, I don't really care. Lock rotation. If you don't want it to rotate around, uh, you can do that. Uh, multitasking gestures. I would definitely have that on. And then uh, the rest of it's all pretty self-explanatory. The reset button at the bottom of your iPad's acting funny or being weird. Um, you can erase all content and settings. Only do that, or just erase all settings. Only do that if you have it synced uh, with the iCloud or with iTunes, because otherwise you'll have to re-download everything again. Um, but what it does is it kind of wipes it, um, and then you can plug it in again and add everything back to it that you want, and just a really simple way to get a reset on your iPad. Okay, uh, just mail and calendars, uh, all your information's here, uh, your different accounts, um, how many messages you want to show, you can change your default signature, which is down here, sent from my iPad, but you can brand it if you have your own company or whatever, a lot of people write funny things here, so um, that's well there for you. Uh, whether or not you want to uh, blind carbon copy yourself, you can do that. Um, then your default account, it tells you which one do you want, so you can choose different accounts if you'd like. 
Uh, next is the Twitter client that's in there. You can have Twitter if you install that. Uh, you can have Twitter, you can do face, FaceTime with Twitter, a camera, uh, not FaceTime, but the camera, so you can uh, shoot stills and sometimes video. Uh, there's FaceTime, you just need to enter your Apple ID and you can have FaceTime, so if you want to FaceTime with somebody, you have to be enabled over a Wi-Fi network, uh, so make sure you have that. Safari, uh, if you want to do any searching, what's your main search engine? It's Google, you can change Google if you hate Google into Yahoo or Bing. Um, do you want it to do autofill? I find autofill really obnoxious because it's uh, kind of like the, uh, when I'm just typing three letters and it just fills it in and that's not what I want and it just keeps, it's just a pain in the butt to me. Um, open tabs in the background, all of that, kind of standard. If you want to accept cookies, um, if, you want, if you have a lot of, you surfed a lot of stuff and you don't want people to see what you surfed, you can clear the cookies and the data and clear history right there. Uh, you can have fraud warnings. You want to enable JavaScript or block up pops. Uh, you want to block pop-ups. I have those both enabled. There's an advanced tab. Uh, it gets into website data, all kinds of stuff. Um, so uh, you, if you don't know what this is, then I would just leave it alone for now because it's not important for you. Uh, messages. So iMessage is a new thing, and uh, we can send messages between everybody. Uh, your iPhone, iPad, iTouch. I have that on. Uh, if you want to send a read receipt, so you know, make sure that if your ex-girlfriend is, you sent her a message, you want to make sure she read it, um, you'll get a receipt for that. So some people do that. I don't know why I said that, but that's how it works. <laughs> Music, sound check, iTunes match, uh, all of that information is here. If I want to have home sharing, I've got my information there and I can come home. And if I took some video or, or did some music on my iPad, uh, with various apps, I can just click it and I'm in business, I can show it on my big screen TV. It's great. And same thing with video, if I want to do home sharing, that's where it is as well. Uh, photos, I can do my photo stream, uh, that's all there. And we'll talk about slideshows in another uh, lesson. I want to take notes, which uh, font do I want, etc. And the iTunes store, um, automatic download, so if I'm home, uh, and I want to buy some music and or books, it'll sync it automatically. I turn that off. Um, uh, and then for apps, though, I keep that on so that if I, on a whim, buy something on my iPhone, I want it to sync to my iPad so when I get home, I can do that. I also have magazine subscriptions on here that are automatic downloads, so Wired and GQ. And that's it. We'll go into all, all the rest of these are apps down below, and we'll talk about that when we get into specific apps. And then we'll just click out of there, and we're back to our front here and ready to go. So that was a quick overview of getting started with your iPad. And next, we're going to talk about using uh, the camera and some photo booth stuff. Okay, hope this helped, and thank you for visiting Planet of the App.